It's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a layout for the Scrappy Sisters Scrap September where they are making a video every day for the month of September and they are having a guest designer join them every single day and today it is my turn and I'm so excited to be joining in. I am also going to leave a link to their channel in the description box. They are absolutely awesome. Um, I love their channel. I watch all their videos. So definitely make sure to go follow the Scrappy Sisters if you don't already. And this video will also be going on the playlist for this Scrappy September along with all the other layouts being made by the guest designers and by the Scrappy Sisters who are Katie and Jess. So for my layout, I am obviously starting with a piece of white cardstock, which doesn't happen all that often for me, um, I don't think, but I my prompt was mixed media. So we all had a prompt for each of the days and mine was mixed media. So I am going ahead and gessoing a white piece of paper or a white piece of cardstock. Um, I find if you're not sure where you're going to go with your mixed media, um, white is always a good place to start. And I actually, I start out completely differently to how it ends up, but I wanted to leave uh, my sort of process in here for you guys. So you can sort of, I don't know, I think a lot of people struggle with mixed media because they, they think it looks messy while they're doing it. It doesn't look any good. Uh, they, they think they've messed up. And I'm here to tell you that it almost always looks bad until you put your photos and your embellishments on top. Um, so with this one, I, I'm going ahead obviously and I'm doing some stripes with paint and I end up not liking it. Um, I don't necessarily not like it. Uh, I don't like it for this photo and I completely change I completely change up what I'm doing and that's fine. I will go ahead later and um, use this background on a dip for a different photo. I've actually already used it and it turned out really well. So never throw out your mixed media layouts thinking they look terrible. So I ended up, I did those stripes you saw, I went in with a couple of color blast pastes as well. I just, at this point, I decided um, I wasn't loving it. And I'd mixed up this uh, paint for that background, but it wasn't quite, quite the right color. So I'm just going ahead here and slapping it down on a piece of white cardstock because I don't like to waste any uh, media that I have mixed up. So I'm just slapping it down. And at this point I hadn't even intended to use it for this layout, but it just ended up working really well. So I'll go in later and do that. So it's just a really soft sort of bluey purple color that I'm using here. And I'm just sort of feathering it out really, really roughly, really softly with my paintbrush. And then just a little bit of that pink color blast paste. I think it's in punch the color, um, just to sort of fill in the gaps. And now at this point, I, because I was struggling with my background, I've just moved, I put it aside and moved on. So now I'm trimming my photo down. See, at this point, I'm still planning on using this background. And you can see I've put a bit of white modeling paste on there as well, but um, I just, I'm not liking it. I'm, I'm putting my photo on there. The colors aren't right. It just isn't working for me. So I, I keep persevering because I, I hate admitting, <laughs> admitting defeat, but I just, I gave up and I moved on. And I sort of thought, I wonder what this one will look like. So I pulled it out and I put uh, my photo on top and the colors matched really nicely. It just was really lucky, happy accident. So like I said, never throw out your um, mixed media layouts if you're not happy with them. So here I am using again, just some white modeling paste and that is a stencil from the reject shop or from Rosie Studio, um, depending where you are. And it's kind of, it's, I, I tend to think of it as a leaf pattern. It's not necessarily a leaf pattern. It's just kind of little chevrons, but I always think of leaves when I use it. And you can see I'm sort of putting the paste down on a bit of a diagonal and I'm not going, going right up to the edges of that stencil. I'm trying to feather it out so it looks soft and um, not harsh. So, and have another little stencil here. I go to town with mixed media, guys. <laughs> so I'm using my color blast paste in punch again, and I'm just going to dot these little flowers all around the background. Uh, quite a few of these end up getting covered up, but I have quite a few that, that don't. So um, I just was playing, playing around with the mixed media. Because my prompt was mixed media, I didn't want to just put a little bit of paint on the background. I wanted to really use plenty. <laughs> and I'm not done yet either. <laughs> so just be warned. <laughs> So now I'm going ahead and matting my photo. I already have a thin border of vellum all the way around my photo. And now I'm going in with the six by six paper pad from the Sugar Bell collection by Rosie Studio. That is um, also available in Australia at the Reject Shop. So I use that white and pink stripe and then I'm going ahead with this navy 
paper and I'm just going to do a very thin border of that all the way around my photo. I just really want my photo to pop. So this is the this is going to be the darkest color I use on the whole layout. So it's really going to help draw your eye towards the photo. And I'm just distressing the edges just to soften the effect a little bit because it is quite stark. Okay. So here we go with some more mixed media. This time I'm coming in with some of the Gina K Glitter Gel, or Glitz Gel I think it's called, in gold. Um, this is the only one I own, but I definitely want more. I love this stuff. It is so cool. So it's a beautiful glitter jelly. It's, it's very much a, a jelly sort of consistency. It's really, really fun. And again, another Rosie Studio stencil. These come in packs of six and you sort of cut them apart. So I have quite a few of them. They're really, really good. Really um, versatile and easy to use. So I'm using some of these leaves, obviously. Um, I'm just going to do a few of those um, all the way around my photo. I think I do two either side and then one at the top here, just to make it an odd number. Okay, and then I decided my photo needed a bit more softening around that navy. So I'm just going to use some white tissue paper and I'm just going to sort of fold it over roughly just like that and then trim off the edges with my big scissors and I will also go in and ruffle or distress the edges of these with my little fussy cutting scissors as well okay there we go so I have some double-sided tape on the back and I will also have some wet glue there and I am going to stick on some adhesive foam go and I'm using plenty of adhesive and um, so tape adhesive and wet glue as well because because of all that mixed media on the background uh, adhesives tend not to like to stick to mixed media so you definitely want to use some wet adhesive as well so these leaves I have are just some uh, that I've cut out on my silhouette just on plain white uh, they've been sitting in my stash and I thought I would use them so all I'm doing is putting a little bit of tacky glue right at the base of the leaf and gluing that part down and leaving all the tops of the leaves just soft and flattery lots of beautiful dimension and texture so I have some of the bigger ones and the smaller ones they're the same um, design they're just cut at different sizes so I find these are really good to have just in my stash for um, just when I want to pull in a bit of foliage I love that white against the mixed media. It's just very soft. This is a photo of my Nana and my youngest little girl. Um, this was her first birthday party. So it's definitely a layout I want to keep nice and soft and delicate. So this one I'm using now, another, another type of mixed media. This is the Liquitex Glass Bead Gel. This is really cool stuff. Um, some of the layouts I've done with it, it doesn't show up. And then other ones like this, it just looks absolutely amazing it's really hard to see on camera but you'll see in the close-ups it's so glittery and sparkly and pretty I just oh, I, I adore it on this layout so I'm just pushing it on with a, a silicone spatula that is just a kitchen spatula I find that's the easiest way to uh, apply it and I'm doing it either side of the photo at the top and the bottom uh, running it at a diagonal across the page there just adds a really pretty soft touch it's colorless and transparent so um, it it's not adding any extra color. It just adds more of that beautiful texture and sparkle. So these stickers are called Beautiful from, I think they're Maggie Holmes collection, um, but I, I just bought them on their own. They're really beautiful gold glitter. I thought they went with that glitter gel on the background really nicely. And I've sort of rearranged some of those letters to spell out heart there. I will add an S a little bit later, as you will see. And now I'm going to embellish. So these are all the die cuts, uh, die cut ephemera from the Sugar Bell collection by Rosie Studio. And I'm going to tuck in a, lot, a bunch of these florals. This one I am just cutting off the border. Um, I didn't like the white border on it, but it's oh, it's so cute. I thought it was perfect. It's little uh, a little mug with flowers popping out the top of it, and it says I love Grandma on the mug. Now she is Nana, <laughs> not grandma, but I mean, she's, she's actually my grandma. So she's my kid's great Nana, which is, yeah, it's really lovely. So this is a little sugar tin, I think. Um, the Sugar Bell collection is very baking sort of <laughs> scented, which is kind of um, makes it a little bit difficult to use, but I, um, I love the florals in it. And I thought that little sugar con container was um, pretty sweet. So I don't mind including it. So there's a girl in question. You can see she joined me for the rest of, of the layout and she loves to play with my uh, alphas. So you'll see her trying to pull those off. <laughs> so I'm filling in the rest of my title with these pink 
alphas from Kmart. They are chipboard. I love them. I love the font and the color. So I'm just spilling out full with those and my whole title will be full hearts. And I'm going to add a little subtitle with these Kaisercraft. Uh, they're like tiny word stickers, but they're um, in a script font. They're really beautiful. And those ones spell out happy birthday, beautiful. There we go. And you can see that I'm just picking off the glass beads. So um, the the glass bead gel, if you have beads where you don't want them, the gel stays there, but the beads flick off pretty easily. Um, so I just picked them off so I could glue those stickers down. And I'm just going to add a couple more in either side of the photo. I stick this one on top of the photo, but I didn't like it there. So I do move it down just underneath and they peel off really easily. The adhesive isn't strong on these at all. So I would definitely recommend using some glue. You can see I am gluing mine down um, where they're going on top of the mixed media because yeah, they just won't stay on otherwise. And then as a finishing touch, I'm going in with my Nuvo drops in, uh, I think it's pearl. They're just like a pearly white color. And I'm putting those in a few places, just in little groups of three. And the very last thing I'm going to do is add a border around the outside of my layout. So I pull out this paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad from the same Rosie Studio collection. And I'm just going to trim a little bit off all the edges, well, two edges of my <laughs> of my paper. And I am just going to have a thin border of that pink. And I'm not going to get that paper because it's quite it's quite thin. Um, so yeah, I definitely need, I need the whole thing on there. It's not worth trying to cut it out. So there we go. And then I'm going to go in with my fussy cutting scissors and distress all the edges on this uh, white piece of cardstock. And I'm going to be quite rough with it. I want it really, really textured, um, really sort of rough and messy. I roll it up in a couple of places. You'll see a bit better in the close-ups that, um, yeah, I've really gone to town and I folded some of the corners over. So I just wanted it to be really um, not, I don't want any harsh lines on this layout if I can help it. So a bit of ATG tape and that is my layout done. Here are the close-ups. Don't forget to check out the Scrappy Sisters Scrap September playlist. Again, the link will be in the description box. Check out all the videos and all the awesome layouts and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.